Still to come, wearable art. I walked away from my super lucrative job and opened an art school. Wouldn't it be nice to fully step inside a painting, to feel its light, the reflections of time and place flow over your skin? This dress is a portion of this painting. It is. Diana Stellan, an award-winning landscape artist who creates lush layered oil paintings in her Brookline studio, says this wearable art is a childhood dream come true. As a little girl, wanted to be a fashion designer. I would draw these models on paper napkins and my grandfather would critique them. After moving from Moldova to the United States, she earned an art degree from Cornell, but took a detour from her artistic roots. I did not want to be the starving artist, so I dropped all of my art for quite some time and worked in international relations. Then something was missing. So she dipped her feet back into the art world, opening galleries across the U.S. But it wasn't her art, the creations that were waiting to find their way to canvas. It's actually the process of art making that I'm missing. And I walked away from my super lucrative job and opened an art school instead and started painting more or less full time. That's when whispers from that little girl and those napkins all those years ago began calling. When I turned 40, I started getting these visions. Every morning I'm taking a shower and I see another outfit. And I wasn't paying attention to them at all at first, but they just would not go away. So after about six months, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna jot those down. In 2019, the soft threads of weightless Italian silk met Diana's melting masterpieces. This fabric is so soft and silky. Creating a truly immersive experience from blouses to dresses. They're all capsule outfits. Everything goes together. Clothing that takes you around the world. Venice is all about reflections. And lets you indulge in luxury. Creativity is essential. It's like oxygen. Diana Sellen is on a mission to reduce burnout through creativity. It was actually the subject of a TED Talk she presented in March of this year while wearing her sustainable art-inspired fashion line, of course. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. 